In this video we're going to do a few examples that involve discounts. Um, the first example says a sound system for a car is regularly $250. It is currently on sale for 30% off. What is the amount of the discount and then what is the sale price? So they ask two questions here but let's focus on the first one. What is the amount of the discount? Um, so because 250 is what the sound system regularly sells for you kind of think of that as the original price right and we know that original is the base when we're thinking about our percent equation amount equals percent times base so we know that the 250 is the base of course the 30% uh, is our percent and they're asking us for the amount of the discount so the amounts what I'm looking for, of course I use the decimal form of 30% and then times 250. So my X is going to be, looks like 75, I gotta move that decimal over one. So X is 75 dollars but understand that this told me the amount of the discount so the discount is seventy five dollars now the sale price well of course the sale price is just found by taking the discount away from the original price so the sale price is 250 minus 75 which gives us one hundred seventy five dollars. Alright, this next example says an item normally priced at twenty two dollars is on sale for eighteen dollars. What percent off is the item? Okay, and we'll round to the nearest tenth of a percent if that's necessary. Okay, so uh, clearly we're looking for the percent. So we're gonna have amount equals percent, which we don't know, times the base. So first of all, what should the base be? Well, again, base is the original price, right? And so we understand that that should be $22 since the item is normally priced at $22. All right, now be a little bit careful here. It says it's on sale for $18, okay? But since we're looking for the percent of the discount, that's what our X is, then the amount better be the amount of the discount. And the amount of the discount is not $18. That's what it's on sale for. So we first have to understand that our discount is the difference between the original price and the sale price. So our discount is $4. So 4 is the number that belongs over here. So we can divide both sides by 22. All right, and I could make life a little bit easier on myself here. These are both even, so I could divide both the top and the bottom by two. And, you know, this is a pretty painless way to simplify this. So this is two elevenths. But of course, I want to get this into a decimal form. So we'll go ahead and take two divided by 11. So 11 goes into two of course zero times so we'll add a decimal point and a zero 11 goes into 20 one time we get a remainder of 9 add a zero 11 goes into 90 eight times we have a remainder of 2 add another zero 11 goes into 20 once now at this point we understand that this digit here corresponds to the nearest tenth of a percent because the decimal will move over two places. So we need to go one place further so I know how to round. And so 11 goes into 90, we already know, eight times. So because this is an eight, I'll round this up to a two. So my x is approximately 0 0.182, giving us an answer of 18.2%.